Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, back with some more Dragalia Lost. I'm just gonna say sorry if you hear the fan in the background. It's super fucking hot in California, so I need this fan to survive. What are we doing today? I'm grinding forgotten the forgotten truths, man. It's all I'm doing today. I'm basically relaxing. I just got finished working, and all I want to do is relax with some Dragalia Lost. So that's what we're gonna do today. Um, I have a bunch of other video stuff planned, but I feel like... It wouldn't be fair to make them at the moment until I'm actually ready. You know, how's that sound? Hey, Oops, did I add a team? Let me get... Yeah, this is the team. That I've been using, at least. Alright, let's go. You can use any team for this, I just didn't want to use that team. That team's not very good. Because they don't have any prints, <laughs> I don't think, anyway. Oh, man. But yeah, I was... The work was just kicking my ass today, man. It was like... Sometimes, you know... If you don't know, I, a lot of the stuff I do has to do with movies. Um, and specifically theater-related stuff. Uh, not actually working in theaters. I don't work in a theater. Um, but it's kind of adjacent. So it's been a very weird trying to transition in this place where it's like nobody should be in a theater, but we kind of need people in a theater to watch this super top secret stuff. Um, so it's been a process. And sometimes uh, when we do it right, um, so basically there's two ways of doing it. There is an online way which is the right way of doing it in this current pandemic and uh you know the best way possible and then there's the wrong way of doing it which is the current way my work is doing it which i won't say much about what they're doing because it is still a secret but they're doing something that is making specifically my part of the job much harder so it's causing me sometimes but the problem is they don't tell me so, um, every time I sign up for work, it's kind of like a mystery box. It's like, oh man, what am I... And also my hours are drastically cut, so it's not like I have a, you know, a say in the matter about whether or not I should go. Um, I don't, you know, you need to work. Be thankful for whatever little work you got out there if you have it, I guess. Unless you're an essential worker, in which case you need to be paid more for the service you are doing for uh, what's currently going on. At least I think so. I think that's fair. Some people will disagree with me with that, but the people who would disagree with me on that also have their president um, indisposed because of stupid actions he's done. This is getting too much. Let's go back into the fun part. Dragalia. Let me tell you about some dudes I've been working on. Um, the Gala Prince. I worked up Gala Prince so that I can actually, um, get weapons for Gala Zena. Um, I'm working on- oh, and Gala Luca. Two units that I need to actually get leveled up in some manner. Because I need them for, um... I don't know, for fun? I like using the units. I actually am really digging all the, the changes they've made to Solo. Because it makes me play the content, and I go, Oh man, this is fun, finally. High Dragon Trials aren't a screaming nightmare anymore. They're actually kind of fun. At least that's... At least to me they are, anyway. Let me see, let me order, order, order until the cows come home. Please. Don't mind my dust. The will I've inherited makes me strong. Yeah. Um, them, obviously, both of the Mims. I fully expect a Mana Spiral for a Halloween Mim. Um, I'm not sure what buffs he's gotten. But apparently that hasn't stopped them from giving Spirals to other units. <laughs> so we'll see what changes they make to her. I think she's already a pretty solid unit. All they need to do is... Uh, oh, and there's Halloween Mim right there. Um, I already think she's a pretty solid ass unit. Um, the only reason she's probably not used more is because there's a Mim on the damn team. You can't use Halloween Mim if you have Gala Mim, because Gala Mim is just automatically better. Oh, my fan turned off, and that guy was asking me to go, so I I clicked Let's -a Go. 
<sighs> I'm, a su I'm a sucker to peer pressure. Very rarely do I hear people say, let's go. But if they're saying, let's go, hey. We three could easily beat this boss. Literally in our sleep. I'm talking to you right now. By the way, if you're still watching this, you should totally leave a like. <laughs> Comment and subscribe because I fucking forgot uh, to mention that at the beginning because of this damn heat wave. Not even heat wave. More like all of California is on fire. And it's not currently. It usually actually is on legitimately on fire. It's a huge problem. Um, it's not at the moment. At least I don't think it is. Oh god, if it is, I don't know. It was pretty bad a couple days ago. I've just assumed that as long as there's heat and wind in California, there's a good chance that a fire is brewing somewhere. That's just the, that's just life here, man. Fires happen all the time around this time, and earthquakes happen. That's two things that have never changed in the in the short amount of time that I've lived here. That's always been true. So I'm getting a little sick too, man. I was gonna make another video too for Fake Grand Order, but I'm, I just, I just don't know, man. I'm very sick. At the, I'm not very sick, but I'm feeling sick. And that makes me feel like I need to get some rest, cause I had to deal with some stuff yesterday with the bank stuff, and now I'm going there. I have so much stuff to grind up for and do. I have a lot of stuff later in October that I'm also planning on doing. So I've been preparing that. Um, I've been doing a lot of behind the scenes things, so, I don't know. Hopefully you guys like it when it happens. Man. Hello, giant demon man. I should just clip Oh, no. He does have a pretty cool animation. It's nowhere near as cool as, um, uh, Kronos. I was about to call him Kramos, which is, <laughs> that's not even accurate to his naming conven convention. I completely added a another letter in there. Chromos. That's that film that Del Toro made, Chromos. Man, Del Toro. Talk about a centric ass man. I love Del Toro's movies. Uh, you may remember him as the man who made Shape of Water, the movie that, uh, that has fish fucking, fish man fucking should say was an actual fish um that won the oscar for best movie that year and i think best director actually now that i think about it um I over i think la la land which was 100 percent the right choice i love I that that movie somehow life. won that um that they, that the the academy so refuses refuses to acknowledge any of his extremely good films that were horror movies that they ended up giving it to the one where it's like listen he's never going to make another movie that's also not a horror movie and that's also not kind of um that, he's going to make another good movie but it's going to be a horror movie and we don't nominate horror movies so we're giving it to the shape of water it's like but it has it has a fish it has fish loving in it because they're old people and then they go but it also has rel it also loves a cinema and then they go god you're i'm all in on the fish loving and then it won at least that's how it goes in my mind man again i have to always pay attention to what the academy chooses because it's kind of related to my work and it's also fun to see some of the movies that i worked on going like um and, uh, and uh, we end up working on it, and then it ends up winning an award. I think the most famous example that's ever been said in The Office was some guy said, um, like he was so sure. Because So we did something where it was, um, what the hell's that movie? It's the Leonardo DiCaprio fucking fighting a bear movie. Um, I want to call it The Wild, but it's not, it's not that. But anyway, that movie came out. A lot of people were saying, uh, telling us, like, oh, DiCaprio's getting the Oscar. He's getting the Oscar. He's getting the Oscar. And one dude in the office was just so much like, oh, DiCaprio's not winning an Oscar for the Bear movie. And it was very much like, he was, like, so against the very idea that people were like, and some point, people were like, eh, yeah, that'd be kind of silly. We haven't seen the movie, so we don't know. But he was just so much like, oh, the very idea that people started going like, dude, you haven't seen it. And he's like... 
I know enough from this that there's no way it's winning. And then when it won, everyone in the office gave him so much shit for just being... What? It's one. It would have been fine if he just said like, "Oh, I don't think that's happening." It's the fact that he stood his ground and like wouldn't like give up on this freaking idea of it. It's like the people who I guess um, it's for a new people's terms. It's like saying, "Ugh, Minecraft Steve. He's never joining Smash Brothers." And then he joins Smash Brothers, and then you look like a fucking idiot because you go like, "Oh no!" If fucking Terry Bogard. A character that up until he was in Smash Brothers, over 5 billion people didn't know who the fuck he was. Not to say that I dislike Terry. Terry's freaking awesome, um, of course. Uh, but you get for the point of this thing I'm about to say. Is that if a series is going to have someone like Terry Bogard that people rarely know, then there's a good chance that Minecraft Steve was going to be in that movie. I had no point in that movie, in that show. <laughs> In, in Smash Brothers, the show, it was gonna be, it was, it was inevitable. If you think that it was never gonna happen, then you one don't pay attention enough to kids. If you think that it's like, oh, is Smash Brothers isn't Smash Brothers supposed to be this grand statement to, uh, to us? It's like no, motherfucker. When the first Smash Brothers was made, it was with characters that kids liked, the Nintendo characters, and then as it went on. That's kind of always where it's been like. So if you're like a 30-year-old man going, I don't get the addition to Minecraft Steve. Congratulations, you're too old for the fucking game that you love so much. You're too old for Smash Brothers. Retire. And with that, that's the end of today's video. I'm very tired. I'm so sorry, everyone. If you liked it, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.